Samsung in that deciding last Ended. game of the season, laying focus here for sure. So he went away from the Cho'Gats, the Maokais were going straight for the lane very defensively, even when his laners are doing good. Certainly not going to say that with the mid lane. Oh, flashes in, oh. He knew the damage BDD gets a solo kill the third time around. Right now, though. Right, Crown's at 600 health, and Ulti could almost kill him, of course, across the wall. They're going to go for this one. He's going to wait for the stun to land. Ulti pops across. Not enough to kill. Cleanse play. The Whoa. second stun comes in, and that's going to be BDD. Falling Ambition was waiting for the play, and the first Down nine, but Ambition now wants to make it a bit more difficult. Looking for the top lane play. QA pulls out, go first. Ulti comes across, trying to dodge the auto attack. But will it be enough for Samsung Galaxy? Could be holding aggro, letting Ambition go for the duel, but he can't do enough damage. going to try again. But he pulls oh. aggro and Pod could pick him up. One more attack will slay him. The pass are going to try to time out. Oh, but Ambition charges the top back. lane kill, even though it was messy. No flash available for Khan. Would have flashed for an auto, probably got the kill, but no cooldown on the Q either. Nice map movements means they do pick up the first turret blood, but it's going to be an answering turret for Samsung. That lane priority going to keep that 350 extra gold from first turret on the long view side, but this game you see now only 600 apart. Who would have guessed Samsung Galaxy would actually have the strong enough early game that they're actually up or at least close oh, up and kills the very lead. That off. Currently, though, in the fog of war. Oh, onto the tank, though, not easy to kill Ambition. Knock him out of the back line of Malzahar. He's going to flash away some crowns out of the fight. Now the cat with the front line. Look for Ambition. Getting lower and lower. 400 health. No taking attack. One more shot will do him in and pray. Gets him that kill. Now ruler on the backside. Can't get the kill because he's going to stay alive through the satchel. And now looking for one more chase in. The blast going to get him a bit to safety. Sanks and Galaxy. Going to disengage the game. Yeah. Hey, in the 1v3. Finds the kill on the prey. Does he have four teammates around the hook to buy some time? One more shot. I'll do a mint. Khan gets it. Gorilla knocked back to safety. Now Core JJ also cutting back. Gets the shield. But Khan is on the chase. As soon as he gets the leap strike up, he gets himself the double kill. Now the push off for Ruler. Flashing the stun. Gets himself another two to two. Into this one. Over the wall goes. Kind of staying alive. Long shoot. I make that actually three kills. Down about half. Points available for both jungles. Spike play comes in. Blue team picks it up. Oh, grabs it off. Ambition Smite actually comes in a little earlier on that one. Now they re-engage the giant. Then comes across and Prey losing his life yet again. Out he goes. 4v5 in the chase for Samson. That's it. He's going to get there. This is where the extra. Uh oh. Talking about Samson in the front line. Low health going tank. But look at the back line. Access out of Khan. And Khan's coming in for that one. And BDD gets the first kill to Core JJ support. Maybe not the best kill. But their jungle is dead. So 4v4. Prey looking for more. He's going to find himself that double kill. As the opposing marksman has gone. Gorilla staying alive. The hook knocked by Atlanta Kube. And he can't get anything with a slicing mail from a whiff ultimate out of the AP cannon. As Khan chases for a bit more ambition. Likely to lose his life. One more shot. I'll do him in. And yes, another trade of kills. Two for three favor of long hey, look true that it is not something like a tm that you might see for pushing is thick oh, double ult's coming across plenty of damage there's pressure as well but still dies the explosive charges ruler gets himself that kill there's the damage they have cube ready whenever possible re-engage is available with all the cc on the side of samsung long are in crisis mode until they well, can yeah. reset and i actually like this response from khan with his teleport down never mind on the front line looking to get the kill on the gorilla not just yet though staying alive for a bit more Google the side is gonna lot out of this one and he's gonna go for the re-engage but khan now might be Running out of health, 400 health on him, that 800 now as well. The Hexmaker Pop still barely stays alive, but one kill comes through as a knockdown ambition. The tank stats were enough. Khan made the right choice, survived the ultimate as one kill came through for launch. I was just about to say, I like the reaction from Khan. It's a very small gold investment to pick up a hex drinker this lane in, but it's oh, so going away. Crow's gonna die for that one. Nice pickup by BDD, knocking him down with the trade kill. Comes in with the proto belt, not gonna quite get that hook though. And Rulo tried to predict that one, but the kill gonna come through the hook. The jump on in, he's gonna knock down Prey. Yes, he does. The double kill actually comes out of Kuve. Advantage Samsung Galaxy. Big disconnect from the members of Longju. BDD flashes in when his jungle, so when his Jax is back in base, when Prey is out of uh, position. Nothing he could do there. They lose the mid lane turret. Longju out of sync for the first time. Contest for this one. Samsung Galaxy turned the fight win into a 30 minute Baron, and they've now got a sizable. We had around the map, of course, with the 3,000 gold lead plus a Baron buff. It is not easy contest to contest with. Not a lot of threat on Ruler. A couple of feathers doesn't really mean too much. It tickles him as feathers tend to do here on this. Is bot lane tier two. Fall. Not in the side lane. Khan with an emergency teleport that didn't lead to anything there. Whole game plan kind of falling apart where Samsung can just barrel mid lane. It's not really a lot of options for long shit. Now the question is, are they going to do another merge to sell for? Are they just going to give up this inhibitor in exchange for the outer turret on top side because they know they can't fight it? They know that even though this is a terrible trade, they have to take it because there's nothing else they're going to And those can be combos to take out oh, anyone. That's the hook. That might be the play. Playing on a two, but he's going to get away with this one. Gorgia Day staying alive. The re engage comes across to the front line. A lot of health parts. Just getting pushed down as Cuz flashes away. Stays up on this one. The stun is going to break Crown Zofia. As Khan looks for the duel. This one, the magic of the stack helping as much as he can. But the team re engaging. And Cuz still finds the kill. Right. Khan does him. And Khan refuses to die, but finally does. Two for one. They get three. Make it four. It's only rulers staying alive.
alive, but he's been cut short, as that was the best team fight Logic could hope for. But there was a lot of deep vision. Now they're trying to force Cubay to respond to a Baron stop. To 5v4, there is no cannon. He can't join. Engage gives the cross. Looking for Crown. They've got rid of the passive, and he's going to get able to flash over. Redemption gets a bit of health back on the squad. The re engage for Core JJ. They still don't have the player just yet, but one kill in for Ruler. The suppression comes across. This should be two as Con will drop. And that's a clean two for nothing without even having their top laner. Longzu knew they had to force something here in the, the teleport cooldown, but Samsung, four versus five, find the kill themselves. And by the time Kubei arrives, it's a free Baron. A second free Baron of the game might be the death knell predicted earlier in this case. Gorilla opens up. Sorry, the respawn still not here just yet. Turret number seven falls for Samsung Galaxy. The gold lead about 6,000 here. And this one is to look for the inhibitor itself. And the turret in front of it is Khan is still six seconds away. They can try and push hard on this minion wave. Four more seconds on the Jackson. They've got plenty of time. No more turret to defend them. This is an inhibitor. It doesn't fight back. It just regens a little bit of health now. Ambition gets right back to the box. And a 2 HP. He's going to be okay. A stun on the back lane, but there's no follow through. Ruler going to stay alive. He's gonna be okay, inhibitor will fall, given up by Long, just the poke coming out from the blue side, and they won't get much more. That is the second inhibitor fall is mid end, but won't find much more. No follow through root from Prey just yet. Another hook coming out, that one's gonna miss as well. Mid inhibitor going to fall. Baron still on for a minute, and two inhibitors are down. Right. Today, not quite a root on ambition, but again, it's tanky. Sun's gonna land on the front line. Frank is with the push to the sash, and that's gonna the big cooldown missing. Into the front line goes Cubs with the Cataclysm, but now he is alone and a bit isolated. The turret's gone, and he's been shut down. Ambition getting himself that kill as the turret's already fallen. Now the inhibitor to stay alive at 5v4 with minions inside the base is almost certainly the game closing fight. No big ults left for Samsung. They could, they saw prey. Definitive blow to the next. The surreal thing about this game, guys, is that, again, we remember, Longshu chose blue side. Still, they went for a 4-1 strategy. Still, it was about... Now pushed into the mid lane, 5v5, looking to knock things down. They pull an ambition, they find the sun and because here comes the charm, the jump in, the recombo. Doesn't quite get anything yet, but the turret's gonna fall. Ambition low, but still tanky enough to stay alive. But if she buys a bit of time, Gorilla, though, below 1k HP as the push continues. Kube, free time on the side, a few more shots will knock down the last turret, and there is only the Nexus left to knock down. As Sutter really gets away, the lock and device side as well as Ray. Can't quite get to the dodge away. Cuz one kill picks up, now make it two. Cuz gonna fall, makes it three and four. All five gonna drop as Prey is just trying to make it happen. He can't do it. That's gonna be game one going to Samsung Galaxy. What an opener! Samsung strike first here, gaining the.